Alright, so we're back to the Over the Wire Bandit Challenge and we're going to be resuming from where we left off, which was level 7. Uh, so we got the password in the previous video and I've logged into Bandit uh, level 7 and let's get started. So uh, we can see that the uh, the objective here is uh, the following. So the password for the next level is stored in the data.txt file next to the word millionth. Alright, so we're going to be dealing with strings now. So if I list the files here, you can see that sure enough, we have a data.txt file here and uh, we can cap the contents of this file and uh, let's see what we have. All right. So we have uh, quite a few strings here and uh, what we're supposed to do is we're, we're supposed to find the password uh, next to the word millionth. So a great way of sorting through this is by using the strings command. So you can uh, you can get more information about what the strings command does. So if I say what is strings, you can see it prints the strings of printable characters in files. So we can say strings. Uh, data.txt and if I hit enter you can see it pretty much prints the same thing but it's it's a great way of sorting through this especially when you'll be piping the output to other very very helpful commands all right so we'll say strings uh, data.txt and uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll just grep this because that's much simpler so we'll say grep and uh, we can just say millionth and we'll just hit enter and you can see next to the word millionth, we get the password for the next level. So I'm just going to copy this and we can exit and move into level eight. All right. So bandit level eight and I'll just hit enter here, paste in the password and we'll clear the screen and we're ready to go. All right. Bandit level eight. Let's get started. So uh, we'll just wait for this to load. Uh, so it tells us the password for the next level is stored in the in the file data.txt and is the only line of text that occurs once and we can use grep sort unique strings base64 etc all right so uh, let's again cat the contents of the uh, the data.txt file so this time we just get the strings or passwords here and we're supposed to uh, the password is the only file uh, or the only line of text that occurs once so a great way of doing this is using the sort command so the sort command on its own will sort the data into uh, a meaningful uh, manner. So again, it'll sort it alphabetically or in order. So if I hit enter, you can see it sorts them and we have plenty of duplicates here. And you can go through these, uh, all, all of these uh, strings or these passwords and find the only line that is repeated once. But a great way of doing this as they've uh, provided uh, this option here is by using the unique command. So again, if we just open up the man pages for the unique command so again this allows you to report or omit repeated lines and what we want is the count or the count option so this will uh, essentially display uh, the number of times a line is repeated and we, remember we're looking for uh, the we're only looking for one so what we'll do is we will say uh, sort uh, data.txt and we'll grab that and we will say unique c and we hit enter and you can see all the other lines or all the other yeah all the other lines get repeated 10 times but we have one option here that is only repeated once and th that is uh, this one right over here so i'm just going to copy that and that is our password for the next level so we'll um, go on to level nine here and things are getting much more interesting now so i'll just enter the password here and we'll go into level nine all right so level nine tells us the password for the next level is stored in the data.txt file in one of the few human readable strings beginning with several characters um, the several uh, equal sign characters here all right so again we can just use uh, strings um, data.txt and uh, we can grep this we say grep e um, and uh, we can then say uh, the equal sign or we can actually omit it because we're not passing any special uh, symbols here so I hit enter and you can see it tells us the password uh, is and it then gives us uh, the password uh, next to all these equal signs here so it's uh, pretty much the only bit of readable text uh, the only bit of readable text here is the following the password is and uh, we then get the password itself here so we'll move on to uh, bandit level 10 all right so bandit level 10 and I'll paste that in and there we are so let's see what this level entails now all right so uh, the password for the next level is stored under the file data.txt which contains base64 data so if we cat uh, remember it's always good to confirm the contents of the file so yeah that looks like it is uh, base64 
So we, the, we can uh, decrypt this using various methods. We can use CyberChef, uh, which is a great tool um, for decrypting various hashes, dealing with reverse, uh, you know, reversing and stuff like that. Or uh, let's, if we check if we have the base64 utility, yeah, we do. So if we take a look at it here, so man base64 uh, and we hit enter. So this allows us to, uh, to encode or de decode uh, base64 data or to encode data into base64. What we want to do is we want to decode the data. So we will say base uh, 64 D and we say data.txt and we hit enter and you can see it tells us the password is the following. So we'll copy that and again, we'll exit and we will move on to level uh, 11 now. All right, there we go. Level 11, I'll paste in the password here and uh, let us check what this level entails now. All right, so level uh, 11 tells us the password for the next level uh, is stored in data.txt where all lowercase and uppercase letters have been rotated by 13 positions. So this is ROT13 and it gives us uh, some helpful reading material on Wikipedia. So what I'll do is I will go to google.com and I will search for Cyber Chef. All right, and I will click on the first link here and that will allow us to easily uh, decipher or decrypt uh, the uh, ROT13. So I'll cut the contents here just so that we can see what they are. So you can see, uh, yeah, this looks like, uh, again, it has uh, some meaningful sense of light. So, so this password is, and we get the password there. So let's search for ROT13 and we'll drag that here. We'll paste that as our input and you can see it tells us the password is the following. So we can copy that and uh, Let's exit from here and let's move on to uh, bandit level 12 and I will paste in the password here and let's go back to the over the wire bandit page and let's check out level 12. All right. Now level 12 uh, deals with uh, data compression and decompression and various file types. So I'm going to be taking a look at this in the next episode because I want to have, uh, you know, every command and, and dealing uh, and uh, the fact that you'll be dealing with various techniques in their own video so that I, I don't uh, confuse uh, various uh, techniques and various ways of dealing with files. Uh, so, I, you know, so, so I can keep it a, a whole lot more structured. So uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video. We'll be taking a look at Bandit Level 12 onwards.